this is Fan P and welcome to something very, very different from anything I've ever done on this channel. Uh, this isn't a gaming video, this is a skateboarding video and I am not going to be transitioning from Minecraft into the world of skateboarding but basically what I thought would be a fun thing to do is to do kind of challenges where I have one week to try and learn a new skill which I don't currently have. So the first one I'm going to be doing is going to be skateboarding related. Basically I need to do an ollie and an ollie is essentially a jump on a skateboard Board. It's kind of the first trick that most people learn how to do. When I was younger, I tried to do an ollie, I couldn't do an ollie. My extent of skateboarding was basically standing in the kitchen on a skateboard and pulling myself along on the counter. I couldn't even like skate in terms of, I couldn't even move and skate. So I have basically no skateboarding experience, but I thought if I do these kind of challenges as a series and I record them, then it kind of forces me to kind of keep up practicing and who knows, maybe, you are the same as me, you've always wanted to be able to do an ollie and this is a good way to, to kind of practice doing it uh, together. So basically I have one week to do an ollie. If it goes well and I learn the ollie quicker, I will have my um, extended goal to be to do a kickflip, which is where you Basically, it's something much more difficult. Pretty basic trip, uh, trick for most skateboarders, but uh, yeah, something that I don't have any expectations to, to do, but that is my, my stretch goal for the series. So what I'm doing now is I am unboxing a skateboard. I know you're supposed to kind of go to a skate shop and get one, but to be fair, I don't even know what type of skateboard I would want. So um, yeah, I just went to a skateboarding website and I ordered one. So let me open this thing up and see what it looks like. Okay, we are in. I know it looks like a skateboard. I was really scared. It wasn't gonna like come in like all together and I'll have to like put the trucks on and stuff. But I did ask them to put the grip tape on because they don't normally do that. And I know I'd cut it and it'll be wiggly around the outside or something. So the reason I ordered this skateboard isn't because I knew it was a necessarily good skateboard. In fact, it was a pretty cheap one, but it has probably the best design on the underneath in the world. It's a bunch of dogs. <laughs> so that is the, the deck. I am going to look so cool. Here's the, oh, the Corgi, of course, <laughs> the, the Corgi. Uh, payday warranty, uh, scaled for, scaled for young riders, it says. <laughs> You've got a tiny one. Well, I, I got one slightly thinner, like this mm. is kind of thinner than normal, you might notice. And apparently it makes it a bit easier to do flip trips than I thought kind for of- kids. For kids. Yeah, <laughs> it makes it better for, for kids or big kids. Oh, there's like a whole description. Where was this on the website? So, this is okay. This, this is all right. To be fair, it's only slightly thinner. I mean, it looks like a skateboard. I think someone at my skill level is really not going to make that bigger of a difference kind of what size it is. So right then, I guess the, the next thing to do now is to, to go outside and I'm going to just try doing one. I'm going to fail, but then we're going to have that as our marker for kind of my starting point, And then hopefully we'll end up going up uh, to something closely resembling Why if you do it first time? Have you thought that through? Very short video. Then I've succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> right then, let me put some shoes on because I'm wearing slippers and uh, let's go and see whether I can, uh, yeah, do an ollie. Okay, so Spacey's told me to to do it on the grass first. Because so. you're not wearing a helmet. I don't know which is like, I guess is the thin a bit the front? Actually, I think it might be the other way. I think the thick a bit might be the front. <laughs> but I know the concept is basically, you kind of push down hard here, which lifts the board up. And then you slide your foot up, which kind of gets it flat, and then it goes back down. So that's the idea, but you're gonna do it while balancing on a plank of wood with wheels on. So, here's gonna be first ever attempt. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I mean, this is what this is the starting point, so that's okay. <laughs> you kind of. Did I? No. Oh, I stayed on okay. it. Okay. Oh, just about stayed on it. Yeah, you're seeing where I started from, basically from zero <laughs> skill whatsoever. So I'm going to do some practicing and then probably tomorrow I'll check back in and see if uh, any progress has been made. Your board's barking. <laughs> 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 is going to be the end of day number one for my practice. It's starting to get dark outside and I'm getting really tired. So here are some of my first attempts. Uh, these are some of the ones that I've just done. Uh, as you can see, both wheels at points were off the ground. 
The board was very much so at this angle where you want it to be this. You kind of want to go up like this, level, and then go back down. But hey, for day number one, I'm not too disheartened. I've obviously not a huge amount of progress done, but I think I'm kind of getting my eye in a little bit. So one of the problems is I'm not confident enough to do it on the ground. Like I still can't skate. And you really should learn to skate first before doing it Ollie. Of course, I don't really plan to become a skater and go to skate parks, but um, yeah, maybe just learning to skate <laughs> might be uh, the best step to, to do before trying to ollie. And I'm kind of doing it on the grass still, and you can't kind of pop it up high enough on the grass, but I know if I did it on the, the concrete, I'd end up breaking my head open, which I don't want to have happen. So I think I'm going to order a helmet and some uh, some pads as well, and then I'll be more confident to do it on the solid ground, which will hopefully improve things. Uh, so that might help, but for now, I'm going to keep on practicing on the, the grass, and I have improved today. Just in the, the kind of half an hour or so that I've done, I do think I've improved. I've got tired. I didn't know it was so tiring. <laughs> I thought it wouldn't be that tiring, but it is. And kind of some muscles on my legs have started to, to ache and only for doing it for half an hour. So I don't know, maybe this is going to be a good way to, to get a little bit fitter for me. So day one was pretty much as I expected, but uh, still plenty of, uh, of improvement to, to go. So let's see how day number two goes. Okay, so it's day two of progress. I've probably done about 10 minutes of practice today and I think got slightly better. I still haven't got any of my gear yet. I haven't got any of the pads or the, the helmet yet, so I'm still doing it on the grass, which is still my excuse for, for now, for why I can't order yet. But uh, yeah, I'll show you progress for, for how oh, it's going. Go on. See, I, I keep telling him he needs to pick that foot up more. No, not like that. I need to do it when you're, when you're on the yeah, board. Yeah, I know. This one keeps being too low. I realise it. One amazing trick at a time, dear. <laughs> One mind-blowing trick at a time. Day two would be a short day. Yeah. Day three, I'm going to get pads, and then that's when I'm going to blow this out of the water. Okay. Did that's, that wheel that, the ground? It did. I think so. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that looked cool. Oh. <laughs> 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 yep. I will cut there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome to day number three. We've had a bunch of stuff arrive. So I got uh, knee and elbow pads, which are going to be very helpful. Uh, I got a helmet, which is hopefully going to, to fit. Okay. Aww. Right. It fits. It's beautiful. <laughs> what am I putting it on now? Just, yeah, why just in case I bang my head going out the door. Yeah. Let's try skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also got these things. They're called skater trainer. Want help with your tricks? Yes. Stop the wheels to get better. Kickflip, uh, kick manual, ollie, shove it, switch, and more. And more. Whoa. Always leave us wanting more. So basically oh. what these things are is, let me show them to you. They're just like a little bit of rubber, and then you put them on the, the wheel, and the idea is it stops the, the skateboard sliding away. So now I can armor up, I can stop the skateboard running away from me. So I think I'm gonna go and try and do it on the, the patio rather than on the, the grass, and that is miraculously gonna make everything better. She just wants you to be safe. <laughs> she wants herself to be safe. If I put these on her legs, does that mean that uh, she'll be able to do kick flips? <laughs> just won't be able to move, just <laughs> stuck on her <laughs> legs. Yeah. Like this. Except that I don't think that's how it is. That's how it works. You hand. Let's go. <laughs> right, so she's put them on, and as you can see, skateboards looking pretty solid. This is the soundtrack of our life, by the way, yeah. squeaky toys. There's also a skater trainer sticker, which it would be really uncool to not stick on. So which, Alex is moving the wheels. Chris says, which dog do I cover on? Let's just it will blend in with this down. I'll do a look with his eye out. There we go. Oh, he's cool. Look there at we that. go. He's a skater my first, trainer. My first thing. Look at that. I got a few scratches. It's it's not cool to not have scratches on your nice. skateboard. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit nervous with my audience. <laughs> okay. Is Maybe it cool. easier? Like. Alex, <laughs> <laughs> stop it. A little bit. <laughs> I should have been able to do. Ooh. Is that any better? Yeah. So apparently, I think I need to, I've been sliding my foot more like this. I need to go more to the side and I need to get this left leg, right left leg. You need leg. to get it higher. Yeah, I need to get that up. Okay, so there's a, an idea of 
current standard. Maybe slightly better than yesterday doing on the, the ground. With all your new equipment. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's too hot. It's too hot. So it is too hot. My feet are dying. Maybe evenings. It's really hot at the moment. So it's too I'll hot. Consider that a day for now. I'll come back out to tonight and I'll see if I can uh, get any improvements with all my gear. <laughs> at least there's one thing I look cooler. Yeah, so you look really there's cool. There's a big win there. Look at you. Skater trainer. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Hmm? I can't help but see that you have a skateboard. Oh, this old thing. Yeah. yeah. Do you skate? Do I skate? What do you think? <laughs> What do you think? No, uh, I don't, I don't, what do you think? I don't think you, do you think? get away from me. What are you <laughs> so I just took off my shoes and there's my socks with the, the hole in and a little bit of a, of a cut. It really hurt. I was literally just scraping my foot against sandpaper. So yeah, hope you're enjoying the uh, <clears throat> big close up of my feet, but I guess I got to get new shoes. This is getting expensive. Right, welcome to day four. We're not over halfway through already, are we? That's uh, a little bit worrying, but uh, good news, uh, I found shoes. Good news, I have shoes. Uh, basically, these are some old shoes from a long time ago, and uh, I don't really care if they get ruined, so these are gonna be my new uh, skating shoes that uh, I'm gonna be uh, using, and I can just say that I was using the wrong shoes, and that can be my excuse for, for previous favor, um, failures. So, uh, right then, let's go back outside, and let's see whether this is gonna be the day I do my first proper ollie. What do you think, Alex? Am I gonna ollie? Am I gonna ollie? Do you think I'm gonna ollie? Do you think I'm gonna ollie? Do you? Do you just want me to throw the ball? Yes, you do. Spin, spin, good girl. Right, so I've only been out for, I don't know, like five minutes or something, and check out the, the shoes already. Can you see? I've basically got like straight through them already. Like this is a really weird problem that I didn't think would be a big issue here is, the shoe situation. I think I just need to get some proper skater shoes, maybe some like metal plated ones or something so I don't just destroy them immediately. But yeah, I'm just destroying all of my shoes. But let me show you how it's gone today. I haven't really improved that much today because I said I've only been doing it for like five minutes. So I think I'm gonna like write today off and then tomorrow get some, uh, some proper shoes and then uh, see how that goes. But yeah, let me show you how it's kind of looking today. Here comes Alex. <laughs> Always my companion during this. New shoes, new day tomorrow. Let's give that a go. Aha, so it's the next day and I might have to shoe problem solved. I ordered some van shoes, which are skater shoes. You can tell because they have a little picture of a skateboard <laughs> on the front of them. So there's going to be shoes that are designed for skating on. Surely it's gonna be these ones, so they're... Oh, I hate it when they make you put the laces on. No. Oh, it's gonna take me an hour, I'm so bad at that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully these aren't gonna immediately fall apart and get a hole in the second I start ollieing in. But um, right, let me lace these up and let's see whether it makes any difference whatsoever because I'm really running out of excuses here. Maybe I need to accept. You know what you can say to your shoe problems? You can say shoe. Shoe! Shoe problems! Shoe! <laughs> they got it, Squishy! Happy tea! Shoe! <laughs> what do you think? Don't know if I did the laces right, but they're staying on my feet, so I'm happy about that. Let's see whether I have any improvement. I doubt it will be any difference, but hopefully they won't fall apart. So my neighbors have jumped over the wall after laughing at my painful performance. Yeah. And apparently you can ollie or could up. ollie. Right, so yeah, so I'm gonna watch closely and try and see what I'm doing wrong. Ooh, nice! Yeah? I think you start with your foot about halfway up the board and bend your knees and then as you kick it, you drag your foot up and kick this end down with your left foot. So, try again. I do exactly the same thing, yeah, but the board doesn't up. do that. Okay. Perfect. I got a, a good reference now. Right, I just got given a few tips and I did my best ever goes yet. And so while it's fresh in my head, I'm gonna have another go. Ah, 
I just went and watched some of those back and getting better. Pretty promising. So both wheels completely definitely off the ground. Still a little bit sideways and it's quite a, a low ollie. But I think some of these ones, I mean, they're, they're, that's an ollie, isn't it? I mean, that's, that, that is an ollie. I can do better. I don't want that to be the, the highlight of the, the video, those little little bunny hops, but I definitely think that improvement has been done to today, but I, of course, want to keep it going. Look at the shoes. Look at the shoes already. Day one. Day one of these shoes. Look at that. That's disastrous. All of the poor parents of all of the young skaters that must go through so many shoes. So no matter what, this is going to be the last pair of shoes that I ruin trying to learn to ollie in a week because I am done buying any more shoes. And I like these shoes. These are really comfy shoes. I was looking forward to wearing them afterwards, but they might have a giant hole in one of them. But no matter what, I'm sticking with them. But overall, this has probably been the, the most progress made in a day. And I want to keep on progressing. So I will keep practicing on the, the rest of the days and show you how progress has been going. Right, it's the next day and I've been trying to solve the biggest problem with not being able to, to do the, the ollies, which is the shoes. The shoe situation is ridiculous. That was like 20 minutes of practice, if that, and look at it. These shoes are basically destroyed already. Like one more ollie and I think it's going to be straight to my foot. You can see it's all kind of coming up here and stuff. So I had a great idea. I thought, why not? put duct tape on it, which probably won't be a long-term solution. You know, that wouldn't be something that would last for ages. It might make it harder, but hey, if it means I don't need to buy new shoes or give up the challenge, that will work. So that was my amazing idea. Problem with my amazing idea is I don't have any duct tape, but I do have scotch tape. <laughs> uh, I am very aware as I am doing this that, um, this probably is, uh, is not gonna make any difference. There we go, I've uh, covered it up with a bit of scotch tape. I mean, there's no, no point in this. I'm gonna do one and it's all gonna come flying off. But hey, I gotta do anything I can just to make it so I can keep on practicing. So the two big problems are the shoes and then the heat. It is so hot right now. Like it's hot everywhere. You don't need me to tell you that. England, America, anywhere, like all of like mainland Europe, it's it's boiling hot right now. So um, this kind of made it difficult because I want to practice now. It's in the middle of the day and I'm literally like working on my computer doing other videos and then looking out the window in case a cloud happens to drift past. I'm like, go, 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 go. It's going to be ever so slightly cold to make the most of it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Let's see whether this makes any difference. But um, overall, still pretty positive positive at the, the way progress has been going. Got some pretty good goes there. We recorded some of it in slow-mo, so that's gonna be good for me to watch back to, to see where I'm going wrong. I think it's still the, the foot that I'm supposed to like pop down with. I don't lift that high enough. So as a demonstration, this one is pushes down. This one slides up and then I need to get this one up higher again. So it should be like boom, 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 like that. It's not really bad. I know. It's really hot, just walking around outside, so. Oh, my slippers smell bad. Yeah. Well, that's because I'm a... you, like, you smell bad too, but it's <laughs> smell bad. Oh dear, sellotape wasn't too effective. It didn't last very long, and I've pretty much made a hole straight through these, so. Like, I gotta be really careful with my attempts, because every attempt, I'm one way through to completely destroying those shoes, but I try again in the evening when it's hopefully a few degrees cooler and uh, see if it goes any better. Okay, it is now the final day of my challenge, which has come really, really quickly. Now, I will be honest with you, I haven't been just been doing this for a week. I've only done six days of training, which I did in a row. And then the seventh day was raining and then we had like people coming over to stay for a bit. And basically um, I had to put my skateboarding practice on the, the back burner for a little bit, but now I am ready to do my final day. So I haven't done more than a week's training. I just didn't do it all within kind of one week, you know, in a, in a row, but this is my final day. And I think I may have come up with a solution to my trainer problem which has been like the big problem. So this is my shoe at the <laughs> moment. <laughs> Pretty shameful, I, it just hurts. Like if I, if I tried to skate on this, like it's basically just my foot scraping against sandpaper, which is painful. So uh, I got some parcel tape, uh, which I am gonna wrap around my shoe, uh, which is probably gonna make it uh, not grip very well and um, probably won't make the, uh, the actual Ollie any easier, but hopefully it will allow my shoes to last for one final day. Uh, and then uh, we'll see what my my best Ollie uh, is going to, to be by the end of, uh, of the day. And uh, we've had Alex in a whole bunch, but we haven't had too many cameos from uh, from Ori in the video. So I thought I'd give a, 
a chance to say hello. She loves being stroked on the, the chin. Oh, and of, of course, Alex is, as always, right here as well. I did one attempt and the tape started coming off immediately. I have not planned ahead how I'm going to take off my shoes afterwards. So that will be a challenge I will deal with at a future date. I'm ready to go skateboarding. Imagine like I show up at the skate park like this. Right, ready to go. I don't even need the shoes. I should just wrap my feet in tape and then do it that way. Might as well be the same. I think it looks pretty snazzy. Right, I think that went okay. I don't think I've got any worse, despite having my gap. Don't think I've got any better, but I don't think I've got any worse. So I'm tired out now. I'm gonna go out and get some lunch. And then this evening, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do my final few attempts. Then I'm gonna pick the, the best one I do then. And that will be my example of how good I could learn to do uh, an Ollie in a, in a week. And the uh, parcel tape verdict uh, held up. Looking pretty good overall. Uh, yeah, gonna have to work out how to get the shoe off now, but I don't think that's gonna be too difficult. So I recommend, here's my top pro skater tip. And here's Ori again, because she's very, very cute. Okay, this is it, final attempt time. I have just put some fresh tape uh, around my shoes. I'm gonna go outside. Hello, Alex, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go outside and um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a few attempts and I'm gonna pick the, the best one of them and then that is gonna be my final Ollie. It's not gonna be a perfect Ollie. That is not gonna miraculously happen, but we will be able to compare it to my first Ollie and then we can, I don't know, maybe you can uh, judge. I'll do a vote. I'll do a vote and you can say, have I learned how to do a ollie in a week. Not a great ollie, not a perfect ollie, but is it an ollie? That is what you're gonna have to help me decide. So let me go up, let me have a full concentration and let me do the, the best ollie that I can. Okay, so that was my final Ollie. You can all leave a vote on whether you think it was an Ollie. I think it was an Ollie. I, I think, personally, I'm counting it as an Ollie. But then again, I would say that because that's the challenge. So I have no need for my skateboard anymore. So yeah, I'm never going to go and try and skate again. I've ruined too many shoes, not interested. So do one more. Do one last one. Do one more. Right, and you, you take you take her. At the skate park. I'm going to do an Ollie at the skate park. <laughs> go on the ramp. I'm not gonna drop in. Let's do with the little training thingies on it. There we go. Come on! You can be better. There we go. So you think you um you, you defeated the challenge, you did it? I think I did alright, and I'll leave <laughs> it up to everyone else to decide. There's a, the a present the... for someone to, to discover here at the skate park. So there we go. That was episode number one of uh, Challenge in One Week, wherever I end up calling it. There'll be a new challenge coming up soon, so stay tuned for, for that. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!